What's up guys? Welcome back to the original Living in Houston, Texas channel. I'm Jackson Wilkie. Today we have built out a checklist. Hey, you're moving here to Houston. We have helped hundreds of clients do it and there are some massive mistakes that we keep seeing people make. Some of these are gonna keep you homeless when you move here. So make sure that you pay attention today. Some of the things that we're really going to cover is just all the different stages, starting with stage number one, and that is the research. So the reason that I wanna start here is because we need to find the area first. One of the biggest mistakes that we're seeing dozens of people make is they get honed in on a school district or they're just finding their dream home online they end up moving to the wrong spot. So we really need to find the area. Here in a second, I'm gonna bring up the map and go through like the top nine or 10 areas that people are choosing so you have a good idea of where you can start your search. We have, if you go to this channel, we have dozens of free vlogs. This is where I actually take the camera out and I'm showing you exactly what it looks like because it's very important for you to see what it looks like instead of reading about it. What you need to do is start narrowing it down to a couple cities. Everything here in Houston, Texas is at least two hours away. So you've got to start getting it narrowed down. Next up, if you can plan a trip here, like I talked about in this Sienna vlog, you can hear Jimmy, but you can't feel Jimmy, right? White people, y'all can't hear Jimmy. You, 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 you listen. You can read about these cities and suburbs all day long, but you will feel which one is right for you. Now, I gotta take a second real quick. My voice is off. The allergies here in Houston are atrocious. I've never had allergies in my life, but I feel like I'm dying right now. How the heck do I get over these allergies? Please comment down below. I am dying right now. Now, as you can see here, I've got a blown out map of Houston. Again, the most important thing is narrowing it down into the cities and sections. So I'm gonna go through that. And then we're gonna go through all the way down to the final stages of moving here. So in no particular order, not allowed to steer in any way, I'm just gonna go through the, probably the top seven, eight, nine areas that people are thinking about going clockwise. There is the Woodlands, Texas, that's going to be to the farthest north. If you read on niche.com, this was one of the top areas to live in the entire country. It is very, very popular, although a lot of people are avoiding it because of how much it costs to live up there. If you go just to the south, you're gonna see areas like Spring. This is another area where you can stretch the budget and you still border the woodlands. Uh, and then up here you have Magnolia, kind of a new one uh, with a lot of new construction. If we go down over here, this has been one of the favorites lately. I'll put a big K there. That is for Kingwood. Um, a lot of residents are shifting over to this area because you get all the trees, all the gorgeous parks and hiking trails, walking trails, much more affordable, great schools. Humble Atascacita would be the next area, um, a little bit closer here to the Beltway for commuting and a little bit more affordable for sure. And then we're not really seeing anybody, uh, maybe the Pearland, uh, Friendswood areas, League City, but we haven't typically had many clients to that area. Where it starts getting very popular, Sugarland. Uh, Sugarland, we just did that vlog, Sienna. Probably one of my favorite master plan communities, just personally, it is amazing, is right here in Missouri City. People are also stretching out here to Richmond uh, to really stretch that budget. This is gonna be the Fort Bend ISD. Going up to the north, you have Katy and you have Cinco Ranch. Definitely probably a top three favorite area for people moving here, but uh, we've done, uh, in fact, I did a three part series on full shear. Three amazing brand new master plan communities out here. You gotta go check that out. And then we've got uh, up here to the north, this is a little bit more country. Uh, again, stretch the budget. They did just build a brand new high school. Uh, it's really pretty out this way, but probably one of our clients' favorites where we've had the majority of people move right here to Cyprus, right on the 290, puts you pretty close to downtown. So these areas here, Sugarland, even Siena, are gonna be the, clo uh, the closest and quickest to get uh, into the medical center here. So, you know, doctors, nurses, that kind of thing. You'll see them out in these areas here. I just wanna take a second, make sure you write this phone number down and that email, that is where you can schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation with our team. On the team, we have somebody who knows every square inch and we have specialties of each suburb. So when you start talking about some of the areas that you've narrowed it down to, we can really help you to find that perfect spot. So schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation with our team right here. All right, so what we want to do is just go to the next one so stage one you got to find the area first do not reverse engineer this stage two financials and personal I have moved three times now I got three little kiddos and this is the stuff that you must must do right 
Now you can start looking at the schools, okay? You've narrowed it down to the diff like the city, the suburb, and then the school that you want is really gonna dictate what neighborhood you're in. Now here's some things that'll sneak up on you. Start getting your kid's school transcripts, start getting the pet vet documents. Anytime you take your, your, your pet here, you're going to have to have these documents to get anything done. Unfortunately, here in Houston, there are a lot of stray dogs and cats, so they take this very, very serious. Make sure that you get all of your birth certificates, all of your legal information, and your medical records when you're going to start putting kids into daycare or schools. These are the things that they want. Now, when you move here, make sure that you keep all of this on you personally. Don't put it all in a box and in your moving company. It can get destroyed, whatever. So just make sure that you keep this stuff with you. Stage three. Packing. Here's some super cool tips and tricks that I have learned personally doing this and then also our team helping hundreds of clients. You need to assess your items. Everybody moves here with everything they got and it costs you way more money, whether it's per foot, weight, or having to get multiple trucks. Really go through and go, okay, we need this or we don't. 3D printout, if you you know, obviously leverage us to help you find your home, we can get a 3D printout made, and then you can actually measure walls and see which couches fit. That way you can sell it you know, before you get there. Have a garage sale, get rid of your crap. Move here with just the stuff that you need. It makes life so much easier because what happens is, by the time you move here and a bunch of stuff doesn't fit in your house, you just end up giving it all away. So you're paying to move it to just give it away. Facebook Marketplace. I spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on boxes when I found out the second time I moved, if you go to Facebook Marketplace, there's usually quite a few people posting, hey, free boxes. One time we got about 60 boxes for free. And the funniest part about that is my wife came driving home with all of them in the truck and that's when our neighbors found out we were moving. Awkward, but you can get them all basically free or very, very cheap. So save yourself hundreds, if not a thousand dollars and that will pay for movers. People wanna go cheap and they just find somebody who does it for 25 bucks an hour. I did that too. Moving from the Northwest all the way to Texas, this dude and his buddy came for 50 bucks an hour. They didn't have a dolly, they didn't have straps, nothing. They just shoved stuff into this truck, all of it rattled around, about half of our stuff broke. I will never do that again. You pay for what you get. Hire professional movers. They will come in and assess your house. They will stack the truck. They will tie everything down and then you don't end up breaking everything. If these videos have helped you in any way, shape or form, make sure that you go down and hit that like button and you subscribe. We do weekly videos filling you in on every section of Houston, exactly what you need to know when moving to Houston. So. We love when you hit that subscribe button so you never miss it. Next thing, uh, set up your services. When I moved into this current house right here, I had set up my power, but I didn't double check it. We moved in, power was not on, it's a pain in the butt, right? Make sure that you get all of your services, water, power, everything set up right away. In the next slide, I'm going to tell you uh, the two companies that I use, one for power, one for internet, and I'll give you a code that gets you a free month. Number one relocation team here, we get some uh, good benefits. Next thing is plan the drive, right? You're gonna be coming probably from a long ways away like I did, if you have the chance, break it into four to six hour trips. This is what we did. Now we've moved three times. We finally were calling this home. We're raising the kids here. We used to just blaze through it, try and get 12, 14 hours done in a day. And it just stresses you out. It makes for a miserable trip. So what we did on this last trip is we went about four to six hours. We got in at two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. We were able to have a lunch, walk around, check out the city, you know, and always find a hotel with a pool, let the kids swim. And we just found it such, you know, more enjoyable. And here's a little thing that you don't know right here. You know, know when your stuff's going to show up. We put it on a truck and then the company that we use, they actually, which I didn't know, I didn't read it apparently. You're, you're starting to realize I don't pay attention to a lot of things. Uh, they put our stuff onto a train. I thought it would be there in three, four, five days. It took two weeks. And by the time it showed up, if they would have said, yeah, the train derailed, I would have believed them because shit was everywhere. It was awful. Um, and so I just want you to know, hey, if you're going to have a moving company and all that stuff, just make sure you know when it shows up because you may want to stretch this out a little bit more if your stuff takes forever. And then when you get here, hire professional movers again. Here's the other thing you don't know. If you just pay somebody hourly who doesn't know what they're doing, they're just gonna randomly start throwing stuff in your house. They're gonna ask you a million questions of where everything goes. I paid for professional movers when I got here and then when we moved from our last house to this house, 
they came in, assessed the whole house, they broke down every bed, they broke down every TV, and when we went back, every bed was set up, every dresser was in the right spot, every TV was hung, it was amazing. By the time the movers are done, you're basically just un unboxing just like, you know, silverware and that kind of stuff, putting clothes away. So much easier on life. Next up here, uh, these are the services. So what you wanna do, I will put this in the pinned comment and in my description. Go in there and get these codes. You wanna use a company called Energy Ogre. Now, Texas is a deregulated power state, meaning there's thousands of power companies, not just one, right? So you may have Entergy, right, or Centerpoint Energy, and then from there, there's about a thousand companies that you actually pay that's in the middle, right? It's crazy. So what you're going to do is you're just gonna pick some random plan and it's gonna cost you 600 to 900 bucks a month. You're gonna get robbed blind. Energy Ogre will go in, they will look at the size of your house, they will look at all of the uh, previous months, previous years, they will find a plan and then they'll figure out if you're going to be working during the day at home or you're gonna be driving to work and then they find a plan that fits your lifestyle best. It saved me like $400 a month. It was absolutely the greatest thing I ever found. And if you use this code, 13U, I think it's zero uh, O, then you're gonna get a free month. Again, it'll be down in the comment below. So you'll get a free month and then Tacus Internet, if you have the ability, they're expanding all over Houston. Comcast is just pure trash. Um, all other internet services, you're gonna get ups and downs. When I had Comcast, I was paying for like the 1000 gigabyte or whatever it was. And it was so slow that basically my camera would shut off and freeze every few minutes. So Tacus is fiber. I have it now. I've had zero issues. And the greatest, greatest, greatest part about it, they're local here to Houston. When you call them, you get a local Houston person. If anything ever goes wrong, I needed to move my modem. If they actually just showed up that day, they moved it into a different room. It's the best company ever. And you're gonna get a free month below if you use my code down below. So. Make sure that you guys go check that out. Now, we've helped over 200 clients move and relocate here. We're the number one relocation team. So our number, our email is right there. Again, you're gonna book a one-on-one -on -one conversation and consultation with our team. You tell us what you like, what you don't like, we help you find that perfect spot. Then all you gotta do is move here, we take care of the rest. So make sure you take that information down below. And if you want the craziest in-depth detailed video about how much it costs to live here, these are all the Texas costs. Everything you had no idea about, click this video right here.